They want to help artists build their own empires. The way we're addressing the region started from the first day where we didn't call the department MENA, we called it WANA. And it was from two reasons. And the main reason, the first reason is because at the end of the day, the term Middle East is not a real term. It's a British colonialist term. So that's why we went with WANA. WANA is West Asia, North Africa. So if we're looking for independent music, if we're looking for to build a better future and for us to do it from us, by us, then we started from the term, so that's why we went with Wana and not Mina. Mina is also is a, is a military term, actually. For me, as a creative who wants to close those gaps for our artists, is everything they deserve, so we want to support everyone. We, we're living in an amazing era where there's so many tools where you can distribute yourself, but to build a team of an infrastructure for yourself with product managers, sales teams, marketing teams, sync and licensing team, and the list goes on, and then an A&R team um, is really important. But if a label is signing you, signing your masters, and not giving you this infrastructure, run away, don't sign. And in general, for any artist, my suggestion would be first, don't sign and wait. Build your catalog, build your craft. Third culture is the new thing. We're no longer, you know, al Arabi and I had to you know what I mean? So that's exactly our music. We love tacos with shawarma, you know what I mean? I think the new trend, if I want to be more specific, that is coming from our region would be mixing of the Afro-Arab culture together. Great example would be uh, Mar Simba, Sudanese artist, Sadiq, uh, Sido Simba, and Ms. Mars. They're killing it with mixing the Sudani Sudani culture into their Arab culture with Arabic lyrics. So it's Afro-Arab. I think that is definitely what's gonna be popping in the next few years.